<laughs> we have in the middle of our podcast, uh, usually we have an interactive segment. Yeah. And since I knew you were coming on, oh. we got a new segment here. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to Steph. Steph, this is a new segment. So shout we gotta out to Steph. A, we got to get a new graphic <laughs> for this, uh, Joe. And this segment is called... Just give me the vibes. Like, just give me the light. Yeah, but it's just give door. me the... Hey! <laughs> hey. Da-ba, 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 <laughs> All right, let me break it down for you. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. This is what give me the vibes is. I am going to share with you... I'm going to say a basic biochemistry concept, a okay. chemistry concept. Mm-hmm. Your job is to explain it very concisely, as okay. much as you can, and then pick a pop culture or hip-hop song. Okay. That matches the vibe Love this. of this particular concept. You ready? So hip hop by chemistry. Okay. There we go. go. <laughs> hip hop by chemistry. There we go. Uh, AKA uh, you are stimulator, Dr. Mute, AKA DJ Mook. DJ Mook. Hey, okay, so just give me right the box. All right, here we go. Little house. Nah, number one, number one, number yeah, one, number one. Yeah. Let's talk about explain um, enzymes, how enzymes work mm-hmm. and their importance, and then give me the vibes. Yeah, well, so first up, enzymes are molecules, biological molecules that are also known as proteins Mm -hmm. in the category of proteins. And they speed up reactions, very similar to what rappers in the hip hop culture do for Uh, our culture. They mm. speed up our culture. They influence our culture through music, through lyrics, through, you know, activity. Uh, So I would say, yeah, enzymes you can think of them almost as rappers. Yes. Yeah, so. There you go. Speeding it up. Double the cadence. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Ah, exactly. You're rapping about I love the vibes. I love the vibes. Yeah, yeah, All right. Yeah, cool, yeah, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So you take somebody like a slow rapper, like maybe a, uh, who's a slow rapper? Who's a like, slow rapper? Like kind of like J. Cole. Kind J. Of like, Cole. Yeah, 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 but J. Yeah, Cole yeah. speeds up his cadence. He does. Every night, so he, he does. Maybe, he, he does, does so it, right? He's, vers- he's vers- he's versatile. He's versatile. Yeah, so yeah, he'll go kind of like lay back and then he'll like double his cadence. He definitely does that. Like an enzyme. <laughs> Shout out to J. Cole. Hey, J. Cole, if you want to come on the show, you don't stay too far from here. Come so. through. Yeah, he, I think he has a house here in Raleigh, so we need to work that out. All right, here we go. ATP and energy storage. Yeah, so ATP is also a biological molecule. Mm-hmm. This is the uh, generator of the cell. It contains all the energy and generates a lot of energy for the cell. Yep. Uh, I would say ATP as a storage molecule it would be something like like a producer who makes the beats that energizes hey. the singers and the artists within the world. So like Mike Lil Will John, made it. Mike Will yeah. made Lil <laughs> Little John, Lil yeah, John. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so ATP is, is like Lil John on the track. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was bad. <clears throat> Sorry, Lil John. Uh, we well, we got you. I love it. I love it. He's vibing with it. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Um, DNA and genetic information. Yeah, well, DNA is the source of all information for okay. all living inf- organisms. You all can right. think of DNA almost as a manual okay. that you, our bodies have to read or our cells have to read in order to know how to replicate, how to make more cells, how to make more molecules that will feed themselves. It is the source code for everything. So I would really say the great legends of our hip-hop era, Ooh. like Nicki Minaj, <laughs> is DNA at its core. She writes... <laughs> Hip hop at the very basis, and that actually, while we are here, let's, uh, listen, let's I'm laughing because I knew he was going to bring Nicki Minaj up at some go point. Ahead. Go ahead, go I'm ahead, Nicki Minaj. Go, go okay. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We here, we here now. We here. Go ahead, talk I about am it. A full barb, and so we're right here. <laughs> let's talk about it. Yep, yep. Um, it is the new year, yes. and we have just celebrated yes. Nicki Minaj's. Fifth album debut, Pink Friday 2, right. which was legendary. Oh, my okay? goodness. This is a sequel to Pink Friday, which yeah. was the one that she released in 2010, yep, yep. which spurred on this entire hip hop field for women. Like the number of women that are now existing currently mm-hmm. versus to when Nikki came out. Yeah. If that's not the source of all code, I don't know what is. Like, Nikki oh, is a writing man. culture. I see. You're right. Like DNA. Like DNA. <laughs> Bro, listen. All right. We're going we're gonna to stay on Nikki a little bit. We're going to stay on Nikki. Give me, give me like a go-to Nicki Minaj song or bar or whatever that you've used to explain other things in, in biochemistry. And you got any go-to bars or songs that you can bring up with Nicki Minaj? It's so many. Man. I know. It is so <laughs> many. Know. These are these are like these are like layups where you already know. Oh but my gosh. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. I think everybody is familiar with Monster. Her yeah. Monster verse, obviously. Crazy. Right? But Crazy people bars. really don't talk about some of the more nuanced songs, right? Like yeah. Fly with Rihanna. Yeah. Yep. Where she literally describes how 
uh, she's charted her own path as uh-huh. opposed to following the path that other people are prescribing to mm. her. And I think this is something that students of color are doing in STEM. Yeah. We are following our own path. We're charting yeah. our own path because it didn't exist before. Yeah. You and I, look yeah. at us. We're yeah. doing a podcast on, on STEM. I haven't seen any of these like, when we were growing up. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I did. Imagine if we had seen something like this when we were right. growing up, how that would have impacted us. Right. There would be more black scientists like you and yeah, I. Yeah. Similarly, there are now way more female rappers yeah. in the yeah. game because Nikki charted that yeah. lane you know like she said uh i'm not levitation because mm-hmm. the song is called fly yep. i am not levitation i am fly like right i, fly. I represent an entire generation yep. yeah which she does yeah 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 I man that song yeah. that song is inspiring too whenever i, I came to win yep. I feel like I'm about to like go out into the arena and be like and just take <laughs> off, right? No, I love you. And then her and then her going back yep. to the cadence, like the way she starts picking it up at the mm-hmm. end. Nikki, oh, yeah, it's all right. about, you know, people try to take a picture and then crop her in. Mm. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah. I, I'm the whole picture. Ooh. You don't crop me in. <laughs> I create my own picture. Yeah, like, so, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. I got a couple yeah, yeah, more. I got yeah. a couple more. All right, here we go. Um, break down uh biochemical signaling. What is that? Yeah, biochemical signaling is how our cells talk to each other. And so oh, okay. the molecules that are in our bodies and the molecules in general, their purpose is to basically be almost like the language Mm -hmm. of our cells, of our bodies, or for even in plants, plant cells, you know, animals, animal cells, the chemicals that exist, biochemicals act as conduits, as language between each other. And so signaling is really, if you think about it, um, like podcasters, like you and I, or culture curators yeah, yeah, who yeah. work to really intermediate between culture and the general public, breaking right. down lyrics like we right. were just doing, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. breaking down culture and yeah. bringing it to the masses. Hip hop, hip hop, <laughs> hip hop. Uh, so, like Joe Biden, I guess, is a is a sound signaling example. He's signaling. <laughs> and Nick Cannon, even yeah, Nick Cannon. Hey, well, listen. Speaking of Nick yeah. Cannon, mm-hmm. you had a recent opportunity to be on his his show, the Daily Cannon Show, I right? Sure did. Yeah. Recent, I say recent, but you know, life changing Life changing opportunity. Oh my gosh. To meet him in person together with the entire Daily Cannon crew was a life changing moment for me. Honestly, I don't even, <laughs> I still don't believe it. I T- believe tell the story, happened. tell the story. Cause what you were, cause yeah. listen, man, I told yeah. you, you have energy, you have a way of, people can feel energy through the screen or mm-hmm. digitally with you. Like you're, you're one of the people, like they're people. So we brought a Maynard. He's someone who has awesome. energy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Dr. Tina LaCC, who hosted our yes, show. On us. Fantastic. Tina. Shout out to you, Tina. <laughs> Shout out. Man, you, you too, man. You, you are one of those Thank people you. where it's like, it. you can yeah. feel yeah, yeah, you yeah. online. So what, what happened? Were you kind of like, just an yeah. audience member with them? Well, how did, they, how did you get their attention? So it goes back to Amazon's uh, now defunct app <laughs> called AMP. Okay. Uh, AMP. Uh, this was launched in 2022. So a couple yeah. of years ago uh, in April. And this was going to be the new home for Nicki Minaj's Queen Radio. And yeah. so, you know, I, can, I told you I'm a barb. So yeah. I go where the queen calls you to go. <laughs> but then when I went, they turned out to be not just a, a an app for barbs. It turned out to be a whole community for multiple people who are just interested in music. Yeah. And so later on, we had little Uzi come on. Oh. We had uh, little Yachty come on. And he was doing shows. Tinashe was doing shows. Coco yeah. Jones. And then eventually, oh, Nick man. Cannon started his morning show with yeah. uh, DJ Abby De La Rosa. Yeah. Uh, I Follow Freeze. Uh, uh, the King the Cannon crew. Javen yeah. as well as Courtney B and Mason on the mic and so they had a morning show every single day from 6am to 9am uh, Pacific Standard Time yep. which is around the time I'm getting ready to go to work you okay. know so it ended up being an energizing you know uh, like uh, 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 event because it was like okay now I wake up early to catch the show but then I'm also getting ready to go to, you know to, to go to work so yeah. I don't feel you know the stress off the getting ready to go to work you know sometimes it's like you wake up you're like oh yeah yeah it's not yeah, one yeah. of those days but it gives you a jolt you get a jolt yeah, yeah. you're listening to Nick Cannon you know do the spins yeah. on the radio yeah. you have all the the people who are in the chat with you the fanons right the fans the of fanons. the, <laughs> the <Cannon laughs> yep. who are you know cracking jokes whether it's motivational Monday it's yep. worship Wednesday or freaky Friday yeah you know? yeah yeah, yeah. The and then by the time you get to work at 9 a.m you are so energized for the work that you're doing and so we would do that on you know three hours a day five days a week for a really long time Time. And uh, I, you know, he started getting to know my name on the screen. Because you were, you were lighting it up. I you was responding. The conversation. Yeah, you were, I'm the stimulator. You were stimulating. You know? <laughs> That's what I do. That's what he does. <laughs> that is what I do. That's what he do, y'all. But also, he was very interested in science and the science elements that you know I was bringing in. So we yeah. would have debates about you know tidal waves, uh, wow. <laughs> how they as accurately portrayed uh, in movies and in anime as yeah. as we see in real life. Yeah, they're not. You know, the competition <laughs> about zodiac signs yeah. does that have any relation to science? Which the answer is no. Yeah. But, <laughs> 
<laughs> but, you know, <laughs> right. you know that is astronomy, not astrology, right? Astrology yeah. is it's a difference. Is, is the big difference. Yeah. Astronomy is the science. Yeah. yeah. And so things like that uh, allowed me to, again to have more visibility with them, but also allowed um, uh, the conversation to 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 evolve. And so eventually, he invited me in the studio. He said, "You have to come to the studio." He, after man. he learned that I'm in San Diego, which is like two hours away from That's Los right, Angeles, because he's yeah. from San Diego. He's from San Diego. He lives in LA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the, the show happens in uh, in LA, and so he said, "Yeah, just drive up, and uh, we'll have you here." I could not believe it. Wow. I could not believe it. I was like, "I'm taking PTO for this." Did, <laughs> what did he say that in the chat? Did he say it in the chat, or he no, like sent you a message? Like, he didn't say it just once. He said it a number of times. We gotta get you on like, the show. You was like, "We're gonna make this happen." Because at first, I was just like, "Oh, you know, famous people. That's what you know." Right, right, stuff, right. You know? Like, I was like, yeah. "Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that." Yeah. And then like, "No, no, no. Uh, when are you coming to the show? Like, we need yeah, dates, yeah, yeah, <laughs> so we can schedule you in." And then wow. every day, he like kept on saying, "Stimulator, stimulator, Bro. when is stimulator coming through?" They had you on the couch, yeah. man, or whatever seat you were yeah. on, dropping back. I yeah, mean, I mean up, up to today, I am now known, and he dubbed me this, the resident science expert. I love it. The Daily Cannon Show. Listen. And so I went in there, and I did my little experiments. I showed them a little experiments Bro. about proteins. We Bro. had a whole conversation that lapses from Zimbabwe through my career trajectory to now San Diego. Listen, uh, y'all got to follow him, awesome. by the way. And this, I know we know we will, but y'all got to follow the stimulator <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah, we go ahead and stimulator. You can see all this yeah, dope yeah, stuff yeah. he's talking about, right? All yeah, of his yeah. experiences. Please, yeah. uh, where else should people follow you? I, know I am on every platform, Twitter. I'm on yep. Twitch I am yep. on TikTok I am also at Stimulator.com uh, Everything is Stimulator S-T-E-A-M yes. U-L T-E-R okay. So Stimulator <laughs> Stimulator It's not goodbye It's Stimulator And folks who follow him Already know You heard yeah. that